What's up guys, welcome back to my channel once again. Today we're doing another how-to, but it's more of a maintenance how-to rather than doing trick ideas. I know a lot of you are into the new tricks you wanna learn, but this is something that I do in person a lot, and every time I do it for somebody as a favor, everybody like, their mouth drops because you kinda need machines to do this. But I have a trick, that way if you're ever on the go and you have to do it, and you have just your hands, you wanna make it work. So we're gonna make this work with no tools. That's the whole point of this video. I'm putting on new grips because they actually do need new grips. These grips are completely worn out. I feel like I'm grabbing the metal and it's time to change the grips. So I have a new pair of NVTPRs and I have them on right here. I don't have an air compressor. The right way to do it is using an air compressor and I don't have that here, but a lot of people don't have air compressors at home. Which I don't have it either. And if you wanna use new grips and you don't have an air compressor, I'm gonna show you how to do it. And we have a coincidence right now because Curtis, has to put grips on himself, this is perfect. Because you just looked at me like, how do you put the grips on? So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the how-to, and then you're just gonna follow the leader. Yeah. All right, that's it. So, first, take your bar ends out. So you gotta do this, super easy. Now that your grips, okay, taking the bar ends off are really easy. If you have plugs, you just take them out. And Ferris is using an Allen key because he has metal bar ends, so just take those out, very easy. I don't really need to explain how to take out bar ends, just yank them out. Sometimes it gets stuck, use a screwdriver, pry them out. You just roll it off. That's like the way to do it. So you think that you want to just pull the whole thing off, but that's not what it is. If you, straight up, it's like, like a technique for this. If you take your wrist, like that, I hope you guys can see in the camera, and you just roll them. Since the grips are worn off, like, since the grips are worn out, it's very easy to roll them. Brand new grips can't do this, but it doesn't matter because you'll never need to roll off brand new grips because if they're brand new, you're gonna keep them on. So, take your wrist, like that, and roll them off. Done. And then, because you use your wrist, it doesn't completely go inside out. You change them? Like that. So one grip's off, you gotta use off too, same way. Super easy. And we'll do the next one. Okay, so this is actually the easy part. Once they're off, they're off, and now you have to put the new ones. Anybody need grips? I need I'll grip. take them. I need grips. So that's what we do. I'm gonna throw one, and when you catch the one, then I'll give you the pair. That way you don't go ah. getting one grip. Okay? Oh, hold up, Yeah! yeah. Round of applause, round of applause. Yeah. Okay, now we're back. We're back from a grip product toss. Take your new grips. A lot of you have tried this before at home and you've put hairspray or someone told me they put WD-40 before. That's weird. That's super weird. Someone does that here? No, WD-40? I, I mean, not hairspray, body spray. Body spray? You don't need that because if you use it, obviously the alcohol will help it evaporate quick -er than other things, but it's still gonna be wet and you still have to wait to ride. The whole point of this is to put the grips on and ride right away. New grips, this part's harder, because it's going on dry, and that's what you want it to do. You don't want to have throttle grip because if the grip spins, it's the worst. You're better off riding with no grip. It's like way easier. So, it's probably better on the floor, but I'm just gonna do it here. I'm mounted on against my leg. You probably can do it on the floor because you don't have it attached to your scooter. So just put it like flat on the floor, just like this, like that. Put the grip on as much as you can, right? Like that. And the whole point, is to get air inside, like an air pocket. Once there's an air pocket inside the grip, you can just push it through, just as if there was an air compressor. So you're kind of creating your own air compressor. You throw it on like that, and the end acts as the pocket, and you hit the end like that. You put it in an air pocket. See how fast it is? Yeah. Alright, I'll try yourself. Because if you can't do it, then this how to didn't work. So you're like, you're proving to them it works. So don't fail me. Otherwise, then they're gonna never watch one of my hustles. Huh? I'm giving you a head start. I'm gonna give them a head start. Are you racing? If you really pay attention to what I'm doing, I'm creating an air bubble inside the grip. Now, once you create the air bubble, you can just press the grip through, and it goes right on. Look what happened. 
Are you ready? Yeah, almost. Almost. Oh, I gave you too much of a head start. Okay, I'm done. Done? Yeah. <laughs> that's not why I say it. Grips are on, there's no throttle grip at all, which is the best because when you use any liquid, it definitely makes it easier to slide it right on, but then you can't ride, you have to wait for it to dry. So a lot of people do it at night and they wait overnight, but if you need grips on the go like I do right now, and so does Curtis, um, this is the way to do it. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. This is another how-to, kind of like mechanics, something that is very useful because grips don't last forever, so you gotta change them, and my grips are completely where are my guys? Oh, Haley has them. Haley has them. Yeah. <laughs> Haley! Some people just enjoy the procedure. <laughs> it's not going in, fam. <laughs> but that's the point. Oh, um, so you got them on already? Yeah. You guys watch the how-to before I even finish filming it? I thought they did. Oh, that's a scheme. Sakura knows how to do this too, so that works. So I can watch the how-to before he even edit this video. The one thing, if you want to do, when you put the grips on, especially new grips, they're not stretched out. A lot of people ride their grips like as wide as you possibly can. You see how your grips are smaller yeah. than before? Well, you know, yours are worn out. You don't have new grips. Yeah. But you put on new grips, they're usually smaller than before. What you can do is you can have somebody hold one end and just stretch it out like that. I'll do it this way so you guys can see. That way the grip kind of feels the same length as your grip that you were running before, but now it's not. Like before, I felt like I was running metal, but that's it. Throw your barns in, you're ready to go. This is a how-to that's super useful. If you watch this whole thing, now you're a million times smarter because now you can fix your scooter at home. And it's very important to be able to fix your scooter because if your scooter's not running, it's not dialed. You can still kind of ride, but it's not that good. But thanks for watching. It looks crazy. And it worked. You gotta put the bars on now, right? Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching. If it worked, let me know. I would say send me videos, but that'd be weird like you put it on grips, but um, just try to work on your scooter. The more you work on your scooter, the better you get at it, and the more you can dolly your scooter without anybody's help, because you need to do that. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe, like, and um, yeah, we're out. Okay.